Okay, now your class is being recorded, so let's begin. So what would you say, Gabby? You don't remember what paramount mean, but you learned in yesterday. So if I say, hey, Gabby, what does paramount mean? But you don't remember the answer, but you learned it yesterday. What would you say? When you yeah. don't remember something that you think that you know. Um, this is the, in the, the tip of my tongue. It's okay. It's on the top. It's the top on of my tongue. Okay. In the tip or on the top? What do you think? Ah, on, on the tip is not on the top of my tongue next day you are in class and you want to mention something but i am talking to you what would you say you're in class and you want to mention but i don't remember can i remember no uh, you are in class and you want to mention something yes, but i you know, no, you you know because you want to mention something, but I am talking to the class, and if you want to mention something, you want to interrupt me. Uh, I am. Um, can I? Yeah. No. Do you do you mind if I jump in? Do you mind if I jump in? That's great. Do you mind if I jump in? What would you say your American friend is start speaking fast? and a conversation and, and you don't understand what he's saying so what would you say um, i mean you don't understand because he's speaking super fast so what would you, you say could you could you speak more oh, what, what? Um, sorry um could you speak um more slower Incorrect. Recuerda que la palabra slower ya significa más lento. Por ejemplo, tú quieres decir slower es más lento. Ok, si digo más feliz, no vayas a decir more happy. Tienes que decir happier. Ok, entonces un a poquito little. más happier, un poquito más lento, a little a little slower. Uh, un poquito más lento. A little less lower. Yeah, that is the answer. Could you please say that a little less lower? But you know the expression. What would you say? Yesterday, your teacher told you, you don't have English class tomorrow. And your friend called you and she said, we have class today. So your friend thinks that you don't have class. But you, I mean, your friend thinks that you have class today, but you think that the teacher told me that we don't have class today. So you think something and your friend thinks another thing. So what would you say? Uh, we, uh, I think we I have the, our... We have... Wire, wires crossed. Wire crossed. Yeah, that's great. I think we have got our wire crossed. Yes, you can say we have, just you can ignore the word got, but remember, Gabby, when we want to talk about possession, we use, for example, I have got a car, I have got a car, or I have a car, it's the same. But when you speak, you can say I have got, because it's more common. Yep. Okay. You are in a meeting, and your friends are talking about Pepito's death, because it is on the news. You don't want to talk about that because your son died two years ago. So what would you say? Mm -hmm. What would you say? This. This. This top. This this topic uh, is close to home. Hits. 
Hit ah. close to home. Yeah, hit oh, close hit. to home. Close to home. Next, what would you say? You don't want to share personal reasons with someone who is asking. I don't remember. You don't remember. I don't mean, sorry, in this case, I don't mean to sound rude, but that is not any of your business. It says, I don't mean. I don't mean to sound. No quiero sonar un poco rudo. No tengo la intención. I don't mean to. But that is, that's not any of your business. Recuérdate que cuando le dices, this is not your business. Este no es tu problema. Entonces, no es de tu incumbencia. This is not of your business. Si quieres decir de ninguna, eh, any of your business para darle emphasis. Let me change here, I think. Yeah. Okay, you got the one? Yeah. Next. What would you say when you need to stop, think about your sentence for a moment and rephrase it? What would you say? What would you say? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Give a guess or give me a sec. You can say give me a sec and let me try that again. Let me think for a while. What would you say? You had an argument with your boyfriend and your and your co-worker is asking what happened? What would you say? Please tell me what happened. Why did you ha have an argument with your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué le dirías? Dice, tuviste una discusión con tu enamorado y tu compañero de trabajo te está preguntando qué pasó. What would you say? I'd rather... I'd rather... I'd rather not to talk. Recuerda que el rather funciona con el tú, pero cuando es negativo pongo rather not. Okay? I'd rather not to talk about that if that's okay. What would you say, Gabby, when there's been a misunderstanding and you want to clarify what you said? Mm hmm? My apologies. My apologies, of course. Another option. Um, I think you... Creo que tú... I think you misunderstood. Creo que malentendiste, but le creo que podrías haber malentendido. I think you... You... You have, you have. You, 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 you have, y tú tienes. ¿Cómo digo podría en inglés? You might. You might. Ahora, podrías haber. You might. You might, you might uh, to have. No, you might have. Recuerda que después del might, del may, el verbo va normal. You might have. Miss. Misunderstood, um, or you may have misunderstood what I nice. said. Next, you are in a meeting, Gabby, with your new friends, and Lucy is talking about software development. They have been talking for 10 minutes, and you have no idea. They're talking about something that you have no idea. You don't, you don't know about software development. So, um... What would you say? What would you say in this situation? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. What else? I have no idea. Or... ¿Qué dirías si ves que tus amigos hablan de un tema que no conoces? Llevan 15 minutos y no has dicho ni una sola palabra. ¿Qué haces en ese momento? What would you do? Maybe I, I have no idea, but I can. No, I have no idea. I, I have no idea, but oh, you maybe I'm sorry. Um, you know, I have to admit that uh, this is beyond me because I don't understand. I've never heard about software development, you know, and I just want to go home because I'm bored. You can say something like that. Es una idea nada más, ¿no? Como que admito que esto ya va más de mí. No, no sé de qué hablan, no me aburro. I am bored. Bye-bye, te vas. Okay? Yeah. Next. Y el eso de but I can find out. Eh, ¿Aplica can... ahí o no? Um, no aplica porque el um, but I can find out significa, pero voy a averiguar. Es como que yo te digo, Gaby, eh, ¿sabes dónde puedo conseguir un plomero? Where, uh, where, uh, in, in, to be, I don't know, no tengo idea. Ahí es donde me dices, yeah. actually, I can find out. Allí sí funcionaría. Okay. Your sister yelled at you a few minutes ago. Now you and your family are about to have dinner. And everyone is there. She said, hey, come here. I want to talk to you. What would you say? Your sister yelled at you a few minutes ago, and now she want to talk to you, but you and your family are about to have dinner. What would yeah, you say? This is not the place or the time. This is not this the right is... place and time to, to get into. Discussion. To get into this discussion. What would you say, Gabby? You want Pedro to understand you can do it very fast. I mean, you know, I can do it very fast, Pedro. Please. You want Pedro to understand you can do it very fast. Um... Mm -hmm. No entiendo. Tú, tú quieres que Pedro te entienda. Ah, ah, ah. Tú Pero... quieres que Pedro entienda que tú no lo puedes hacer rápido. Pedro te dice, please do this. Oh, yeah. but, but Pedro. Uh, bear uh, with me. Yeah, that's amazing. That's his question. But we're, bear with me, please. Okay. What would you say? Your friend is placing his hand on your leg. Um, take take out your hand. Take out your. Uh, your hand, no. Please take. Take, take your. Hand. Of my. Of okay. my leg. This is the expression. Please take your leg off my. Of take your hand off my leg. Okay, so we're going to stop here. We continue with our next lesson and then we continue practicing, okay? And okay. and remember the expression, of course, because you can use it during the class. And today we have, today we're going to talk about food. Let me share my screen in a few seconds. Now I think you can see it. Can you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now we are going to learn 10 words um, uh, about uh, nutrition, okay? Nutrition. Let's begin with the first one. Have you ever heard about nutritional facts, Gabby? Do you know what nutritional facts are? Um, the components of food? Yeah. Okay, the ingredients, the ingredients, mm -hmm. the ingredients, of course. And where can you find nutritional facts? Where? Uh, on the... In the back of what? In the back of that? Of the product. That's amazing. So nutritional fact, if you look at the back 
of a product, you will often see in many countries, depending on the regulations in your country, a list of information numbers. In some words, those are nutritional facts of that food product. In a sentence, check the nutritional facts for important diary information. So my question is, do you check nutritional fact labels? Yeah, sometimes. And when and why? Um, for example, um, my baby's food. Mm, ah, your baby's food? Uh huh. Um, when I buy a new product. When you buy a new product. Now, nothing uh -huh. about it. When you don't know anything, right? Yes. Do you yes when you don't know anything? Do you know the difference between nothing and anything? Um, nada. And anything? Aha, uh -huh. let's do this together. In English, we have the word everything, the word nothing, and the word anything. Okay. You know that everything means todo. Oh. For example, I want everything means, what does it mean in Spanish? Quiero todo, of course. But then again, we have the word nothing. Nothing means nada. Yeah. So we say, no quiero nada. In English, it is, I want nothing. Recuerda que nosotros en español hablamos mal. Nosotros hablamos con doble negativo. De no quiero nada para, literalmente es, si no quieres nada, quiere decir que quieres todo, sí o no. Uh -huh. yeah, en inglés, en inglés sería así. Pero en español es, no quiero nada, es, I want nothing. O sea, no quiero nada, I want nothing. Ok. Yeah. Y recuerda que anything también significa nada. Entonces, más cercano al español sería I don't want anything. I don't want anything significa no quiero nada. Y I want nothing significa literalmente es quiero nada, que es no quiero nada. ¿Ok? I, I want okay. nothing. No quiero nada. I don't know anything. Tú tienes que decir para decir no sé nada, dirías I don't know anything or I know nothing. Ya, yeah. eso dije bien. Uh, no. Dijiste, I don't, I I don't, don't know, know nothing. Mm -hmm. Dijiste I don't know nothing. So tendrías que ver I don't know anything or I know nothing. Ahora sí está correcto. También recordemos que anything significa cualquier cosa. Entonces, acá sería I want anything. Como puedes observar, el anything tiene doble significado. Para oraciones, para oraciones negativas significa nada, pero para oraciones afirmativas significa cualquier cosa uh -huh. o cualquiera perdón aquí le vamos a poner cualquiera quiero cualquiera I want anything okay okay any questions también recuerda que anything significa alguna cosa en pregunta for example anything else and do uh -huh. you need anything necesitas algo alguna cosa do you need Anything. This is for a question. Yeah. El anything is muy versátil. Okay. And mm -hmm. let's come back here. And do you check nutritional fact labels? And you told me that you check the nutritional fact labels when you know nothing about a product, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Next. Calorie. What is the first idea that pops into your head when you listen to this word and when you hear this word, calorie? Uh, grasa, calorías, calories, uh, oh, grasas, grasas, fat, fat. 
Okay. Graça is fat, no? Yeah, graça fat in English. Let's analyze the word that's a sign, which means energy. The energy in a food essentially. Some foods are high in calories and some foods are low in calories. In a sentence, avoid eating lots of high calories foods if you want to lose weight. Okay, so for example, what kind of products are high in calories? Or are high calorie products? Do you know? Uh, candies, the soda. The candy, soda, of course. They are high calorie foods. And low calorie or low calorie foods, any ideas? Maybe fruits or? Um, diet products. Diet like, products, okay. You can say vegetables, vegetables, of course. So look at the sentence, eating eating lots of high calorie foods if you want to lose weight, so avoid eating. But then again, this is like calories, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, you know, it's a long word, carbohydrates. When you are uh, learning this word, Americans, they say carbs. Carbs is a short version of this carbohydrate word, okay? Carbohydratos. So it's a very long word. We usually abbreviate it. We usually shorten it to carbs. And carbs are food, for example, bread, rice, pasta, sweet, sugars, and things. These are food which give you a quick burst and a quick bit of energy. In a sentence, you can say, I can help but eat lots of carbs sometimes. You get it? Do you yeah. eat do you eat a lot of carbohydrates or carbs? Um, yes. Yes, for example, what kind of carbohydrates do you eat? Rice. Rice. Bread. Okay. Bread. Okay, bread. Look at this word. Can help is a nice expression. I can help. It doesn't mean no puedo. No puedo evitar. Okay, no vayas a traducir I can help como no puedo ayudar. Por ejemplo, tú dices, I can help uh, drinking soda. No puedo evitar tomar gaseosa. You see? Okay. Can help es una expresión que significa no poder evitar hacer algo. So I can, I can help eating fast food because I am busy in the afternoon. I can cook and I don't have enough time to cook, so I can help eating fast food at night. Did you understand? Yeah. That was great. Another way to say carbohydrates, do you remember? Um, Another way to say carbs. 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 Remember this word? Next. Then we have protein. Protein, do you know what protein is? Maybe I'm a good example of this. Protein. Chicken. chicken. Meat, right? Meat. Yeah. It could be it could be chicken, it could be lamb, it could be. So it's often talk about when you want to build muscle. Anota la expresión. Build muscle significa sacar músculo. Build muscle. Lose weight, perder peso. Ganar peso sería gain weight. Perder peso, lose weight. Sacar músculo, build muscle. Perder peso, lose weight. Ganar peso, gain. Gain weight. Yeah, gain, gain weight. Okay. So it can help you build muscle too when you want or that's your goal. So you need to eat protein. So it takes your body like a longer time to access the energy. So let's continue. Then we have sugar. Is sugar good for everyone? What do you think? No. No, right? Is mm -hmm. You don't think so. Remember that sugar and carbohydrates, it is pure energy. So for example, maybe you are tired. You'd like drink a soda or maybe like eat a candy. 
this is energy, of course, um, especially if it's added to a food. So sugar is just, it's a carbohydrate. Sugar is a carbohydrate. It's energy. Remember that carbohydrate gives you energy to do your activities. So this is the reason that you eat bread in the morning. Maybe you drink coffee in the morning or you eat fruit because this is a sugar. Um, okay, let's continue. Fat. Fat means grasa. Okay, so fat, the next word is fat. Of course, uh, animal fat, so like your bacon example is like kind of famously delicious because it is a fatty piece of meat. There's a lot of fat, so fat can make your food taste better. And then fat also has a bad reputation because it can, uh, of course, the word fat, often sometimes people, I don't want to be fat, people say, right? Because fat in Spanish means gordo. So you say, I don't want to be fat, but fat means grasa. Recuerda que las grasas pueden ser buenas o malas, okay? Especially animal fat. La grasa animal is good or bad. It's bad for you, okay? Mm -hmm. But remember that the, this fat can make you feel, can make your food, can make your food delicious, okay? So you need to reduce bad fats. Recuerda que tenemos good fat y bad fat. Okay? Tenemos grasas buenas y grasas malas. Tenemos que reduce. Mira la palabra. La palabra. Reduce. Reducir. Reduce. Then we have sodium. Sodium. Have you heard this word? Sodium? Nope. In area sodium, it says sodium is essentially salt. Lot of sodium can be bad. Remember that if you consume a lot of sodium, this is bad for your health. Remember to keep low sodium levels in your food. So sodium is salt. In a sentence, make sure not to consume too much sodium. Acabamos de aprender un nuevo verbo que vamos a incluir en nuestro vocabulario. Consume. Consumir, consume, consume. Hemos aprendido cómo decir reducir también. Re, reduce, reduce. Ahora te voy a enseñar una palabra demasiado nativa. Ok. So, cut down or cut back. Creo que es cut back. Cut back the amount of sugar. The amount. Vamos a googlearla. Ok, para que puedas estar más segura. Creo que es cut back. Cut back. Yes. I can, I can write. I'm a Mozilla Firefox. Cut back means cut back. Spend less or use less. Cut back. Tenía razón. Cut back. Cut back. Cut back on. Cut back on sugar. Reduce something. Normalmente, los nativos utilizan la expresión cut back, que significa reducir. Reducir 150 mil, cut back, cut back, cut back. Puedes usar cut back on. Ok. O cut back solito. ¿Quedó claro? Yeah. Son no. vitamins. Do you consume vitamins? Um, yes. What kind of vitamins do you consume? Um, C. C, vitamin C. Okay. And um, you like take pills or you drink something or maybe you add something in your food. In, in what way? Uh, pills. Ah, uh, pills. Okay. How often do you take these pills? Every day. Every day in the morning, in the afternoon. How many times in the morning? One. Once. Once per day. Mm -hmm. Once per day. And what makes this pill to you? To your body, I mean? What does it make to you? Um, sorry, I don't... I didn't understand. Uh-huh. Okay. What makes... I mean, what the pill make or makes you feel? What... You feel better. Uh -huh. I mean, you have more what? Are you energetic? Energetic? 
No, uh, I I consume. I consume. Okay. Uh, for my health. Tell me. I consume. Okay. Consume I can you consume it for my health. Ah, for your health. Uh -huh. uh, of course, but I what I'm saying is when you uh -huh. consume when you consume these pills, you feel or you are more energetic. Or it's the same for you. Uh, it's the same. It's the same, of course. Okay. Let's continue. So the next word is vitamins. So vitamins, well, doctors, it's like they say kind of good like body boosting things. It can give you extra good stuff of your body essentials. Like remember that it's not necessary to eat vegetables. I'm sorry to take pills. Remember that you can get vitamins from, from the food, vegetables and fruit, you know? Instead of taking a pill, you can like eat an orange and you have vitamin C. Or if you eat fish, you can have vitamin K. You see? Yeah. And then we have diet. And this is a difficult word sometimes for my students. And what is the reason? Diet. Focus on this part because I'm gonna I'm gonna give you answers. I'm gonna give you some questions. Uh, the word diet means to limit your food and drink, to limit your consumption in order to lose weight. Okay, the verb to limit the consumption of consumption means consumo. Consume, consumir, consumption, consumo. So to limit your consumption, uh, for example, uh, imagine you are the doctor, you say, Carlos, you are overweight. You need to diet. You need to diet. Tú necesitas diet. Ah, ¿Qué cosa es diet? Es limitar el consumo de los alimentos y bebidas que tomo o, o que como, ¿no? Well, you need to diet. Hey, I feel like drizzy. Drosy, uh, what am I supposed to do? Carl and you say, Carlos, you are overweight. You just need to diet, okay? To limit the consumption of food and drinks. And in uh, okay, in order to lose weight, of course, because you are overweight. And diet in in your eating habits, it could be as a noun. Diet means dieta, okay? Yo tengo una dieta balanceada, okay? A healthy diet. You see, diet in this case means your eating habits, your eating style. For example, I could say it's important to have a balanced diet. Una dieta balanceada. Diet balance. Did you understand? Yes. Another word that we are learning, keep balance. Mantener balanceado. Keep balance. Mantener en equilibrio. Keep balance in the foods that you eat and the things that you drink. So balanced diet refers to a balanced eating and drinking lifestyle. So diet, when used in this way, means lifestyle. So please uh, be careful with this word in a sentence. For example, keeping a balanced diet is important for a healthy lifestyle. Did you understand this part? So we have diet to limit the consumption and the of foods or drink. And diet as a noun means dieta, a balanced diet, dieta balanceada. Did you understand this part? Um yes. If do you have do you have a balanced diet? Yes. Why do uh, you say why do you say that I have a balanced diet? Maybe because you um Why? Yes, why? For example, I don't have a balanced diet because I work in the morning so I can cook. I think that it's really important to balance my food and reduce the amount of sugar, the amount of calories that I drink and eat during the day. This is the reason that I have a bad diet. What about you? Um, well, I... I I like um, vegetables and fruits, and I um, for me it's important to care my body. To care your body, 
Uh -huh, for this reason, I I eat I always eat vegetables a lot of vegetables in mm -hmm. my diet. In your diet, of course, and 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 do you diet? Um, no. No, you eat mm -hmm. the amount of food that you need. No more. Uh -huh. Oh, that's great. That's great. Now we are going to talk about ingredients. So the next word is ingredients. If you check the nutritional facts, now you remember nutritional facts, right? Yes. The nutritional fact, they are not components, okay? On the back of the product, you will see the list of ingredients. So the ingredients uh, are the things that inside the product, the things that are used to make the product, you are looking at right now, and uh, the ingredients list is created based on the quantity of that item, the product. If you're buying a candy, for example, the first item in the ingredient list is probably going to be sugar, for example. And now take a look at this nutritional facts. And this is a nutritional fact. As you can see here, we have the list of ingredients like saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and dietary fiber, total sugars, vitamin, calcium, iron, potassium. This is the list of ingredients. And this is the yeah. nutritional fact. So remember that when you go to the supermarket, you need to check the nutritional facts, right? Mm -hmm. And nowadays they are like a shape. It says high in sugar, high in trans fat, maybe. You have you ever seen those shapes? No? Yes. Yeah. And those are 10 words that you can use for talking about nutrition, okay? Please tell me five words that you remember. The first one, five. The no? fact. Nutritional facts. What are nutritional facts, Gabby? Yeah, the components. The ingredients. The ingredients that you find where? Uh, on, the, on the back. On the back of the products. of the product, of course. Uh, what is another word that you remember? Vitamins. Vitamins. Why uh, are vitamins important? Uh, um, it's important for for our uh, health. For your health, of course. Okay. Another word. Uh, carbs. Carbs, okay. Do you know some carbs, maybe? Or what kind of yeah. carbs do you eat? Yeah, rice. Rice, bread, bread oh. pasta, yes. This is carbohydrates. Another word? Two more? Uh, uh, pro proteins. 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 Pro proteins. Where can we find proteins? Where? In, in what kind of product we can find proteins? Uh, the meat. Meat, of course. And the last word, the last one before we continue. Uh, How do you say grasas in English? Uh, but, but How do you say reducir in English? Reduce. Or la expresión que te enseñé. Cut. 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 Cut back, of course. Cut back. Si quieres le agregas on. Cut back on. How do you say? Comidas altas en calorías. Uh, high calorie. Food. Food. Y cómo son las comidas bajas en calorías? Um, Low. Uh, low, low, low calorie food, of course. Okay, so now uh, let's begin with the second part. I have a question, Gabby. Do you know about the danger of trans fats? Do you know what trans fats are? Um... Any ideas? Maybe uh, for the bar for the body. Yeah, maybe for the body. But have you heard the word trans fats? You know that fat means grasa, grasas fats, but trans fats. 
Um, How do you say mi idea? This is beyond? Beyond me? Me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. This is beyond me, you can say. Okay. It means, you know, Carlos, I don't know this term, but you can explain. So you can say, well, Carlos, this is beyond me. I don't know the answer, but I don't know the answer. This is beyond me. It's another way to say that. En lugar de decir, no, no, ni idea, no sé de qué es eso. Ah, no, esto me sobrepasa, no. No tengo conocimiento, no. But this is beyond me. Okay, so please read the first paragraph. Uh, does your mouth water when you think? Cookies, donuts, burgers, and french fries. Many people prefer junk food like this to healthy food because they uh, develop a taste for it. Processed, baked, and fried foods often contain a high amount of trans fats. Okay. In the first paragraph, are there any words that you don't know? Um... Trans fats. Trans fats. Son eh, grasas trans. Así se llama en español también, las grasas trans. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. La palabra que tú no sabías que te equivocaste es develop. Develop. Que es desarrollar. Quiero que notes lo siguiente. Al costado de think he puesto la preposición of. Quiere decir que tú puedes usar la preposición about o la preposición of. Por ejemplo, pienso en ti, I think about you or I think of you. Ambas están correctas. Did you understand? Uh, yeah. Think about or think of. Think of or think about. Okay. okay. Please translate the first paragraph. Um, ¿Se te hace agua en la boca? Mm -hmm. Se te hace agua en la boca. When you, uh, when you eh, think that something is delicious. Piensas en okay, cuando piensas en gallet galletas, donas, hamburguesas y papas fritas, mucha gente prefiere la comida chatarra. Eh, Como esta. Como esta, que la comida es saludable porque eh, ellos desarrollan, desarrollan un gusto, gusto por desarrollar el gusto por eso. Ah, un gusto por eso. Okay. Procesada, horneada, Procesada, horneada ahí. Y frita, y comida frita. No, es comidas procesadas, fritas y horneadas. ¿Ok? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, a veces contienen eh, una cantidad alta de grasas trans. Exactamente. ¿Ok? En el primer párrafo quiero que notes lo siguiente. Las palabras process, las palabras baked, en las palabras fried. ¿Qué son sustantivos, verbos o adjetivos? Mm -hmm. Sustantivos. Sustantivos. Are you sure? Yo digo, okay. comida procesada. ¿La procesada qué es? ¿Es el sustantivo? ¿Y qué cosa vendría a ser comida? Oh, no. eh... Adge adjetivo. adjetivo. Los adjetivos son los que califican. ¿Te has dado cuenta que estos adjetivos... Son tres. ¿Ah? El día de hoy te voy a enseñar cómo usar los adjetivos. ¿Te has puesto a pensar, por ejemplo, cómo diría una bonita y costosa casa? ¿Cómo se dice una bonita y costosa casa en inglés? Uh, a beautiful and expensive house. A beautiful, ex, an ex, an expensive house. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y por qué el primero no va expensive y luego va um, beautiful? 
Mm. ¿Te has puesto a pensar? Mm. Ahorita vamos a aprender. Ahorita vamos a aprender. One second. Voy a compartir mi pantalla. Just give me a minute. Can you see my screen? It says adjectives order. Can you see it? Hoy aprenderemos a ordenar los adjetivos. No es como, ah, quiero poner este primero. ¿Por qué? Se me da la gana. No. We need to follow the rules. Empezamos el orden. Es así. Primero voy a poner opinion. Luego va size, length, and height. Physical quality, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. Son nueve. Este es el orden. Carlos, y voy a usar los nueve. Casi nunca vas a usar más de tres. Pero, por ejemplo, yo quiero decir, mira, hermosa, grande, uh, amarilla. Casa. Ah, ya. Yeah. Entonces digo house. Primero, que pongo? Hermosa. Hermosa, ¿qué característica pertenece? ¿A una opinión, edad, una forma, color? ¿A quién pertenece? ¿A? Ah? Opinión, ¿cierto? Entonces va beautiful. Beautiful. Ahora, grande. Grande va en qué cosa? En, en tamaño, sí o no. Sería beautiful. Beautiful big. Ahora amarillo. Ah, amarillo es color. Entonces aquí va yellow. Así sería beautiful big yellow house. No puedes decir yellow big beautiful house. No se puede. Ok. Ahora, Carlos, ¿cómo me voy a aprender el orden? Te preguntas. Es demasiado. Lo que puedes hacer es usar la, nemo, la nemotecnia que es así. Es o. Era, era o, o. Acá hay otra o. Mira. A ver, veamos. Voy a encerrarlas. Es así, O, O, P, P, O, O, P, P. Ya sabes que al inicio es una O, la 7 es una O, física es una 3, y la última es otra P, tenemos O, O, P, P. Luego lo que tienes aquí son S, 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 S y en los lados tienes C, C. ¿Ok? Primero tienes que aprenderte ese orden. ¿Cómo? Así. ¿Qué va primero? Primero te dije una O, O, P y P. Luego pones S, S, C, C. Hasta aquí vamos bien, ¿cierto? O, O, P, P, S, S, C, S. Ah, tienes que aprenderte primero así. ¿Ok? O, O, P, P, S, S, C, C. Y el último, el 8, es material. El de aquí es material. Entonces, una vez más, practiquemos. En los bordes, ¿qué va? ¿Con qué empiezo? ¿Con O? O. O, O. ¿Y aquí qué va a ser? S. No, aquí es PP. Ah, en el centro. En el centro, S, S. ¿Y en los costados qué va? C, C. C, C. ¿Y aquí qué va la? M. La M. Entonces, tú sabes que es material. Ahora, si tú te aprendes esto, no es O, O, P, P, S, S, C, C, M. Solamente esto se aplica, Gaby. Eh, cuando escribimos porque cuando hablamos no te pones a pensar en el orden nunca utilizas más de tres con la justa se usan dos pero cuando escribimos ahí sí tenemos que, que poner por ejemplo yo quiero decir no sé niño, niño, niño grande e inteligente ok, primero tenemos big y luego tengo intelligent entonces tú, cuando estás escribiendo, vas a poner boy y big intelligent boy. Ahora, big es de tamaño, ¿sí o no? Tú sabes que el tamaño, tanto lo vas a practicar que te vas a acordar que aquí es shape, es el size. Es uh -huh. el tamaño, size. Acá va big. Intelligent, ¿qué vendría a ser? Una opinión, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. La opinión va primero. Entonces va a ser big, in, big in, intelligent, big, big boy. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Una vez más, mira, opinión. La siguiente es de tamaño, ya sea de altura, ya sea de ancho, todo lo que tiene con tamaño, ese size. La tercera es la physical quality. Esa P viene de physical quality, que puede ser, es, te hace, es muy puntiagudo, es duro, es suave, es delgado, physical quality. La A o es, viene de la, del age, 
¿ok? Luego, ¿qué más tenemos? Eh, shape, que es la forma. El C es el color. Luego tenemos el origin, el material, el purpose. A partir de las 7, la 8 y la 9 es bien raro. Solamente dirías, por ejemplo, una casa de madera bien bonita. Ah, obviamente, la madera, que es el material, va al final. No te pones a pensar, ah, es en el séptimo. No, no, mira, vamos a ver en práctica. Por ejemplo, ¿quieres ordenar el carro? ¿Cuál pondrías primero? Italiano. Italiano, ¿esto qué tiene que ver? ¿Esto estaba al inicio o estaba al final? Tú solamente acuerdas si estaba al inicio o al final. Italiano. Al final. Al final. Tú lo pones al final. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. ahora. No. Ahora, ¿cuál iría primero de todos? Beautiful. Beautiful, porque es una OP. Opinión. opinión, excelente. Luego de la opinión, ¿qué viene? ¿La edad o el tamaño? El tamaño. El tamaño, sigue. Tiny. ¿Qué viene? ¿El origen o la edad? O ¿Y el último? Muy bien. A ver, tú solita. Primero, ¿qué iría? Eh, tall. Dime. Tall. ¿Tall qué vendría a ser? Eh, sí. El size, el tamaño. Me parece excelente. Me parece excelente. Luego del tamaño, ¿qué podría ir? Eh... Acuérdate, o o p p s s a c m La primera O, tú sabes que es de opinión. La segunda es una S, que viene a ser del tamaño. Ya lo pusiste. Luego viene una P, que es de physical. No, acá no hay. o o p p s s a Luego, ¿qué viene en A? La edad. ¿Cuál sería? Ah, uh, Young. Young. Después de esta yeah. edad, ¿qué sería? Una S, que vendría a ser el shape, la forma. No tiene forma. Luego del shape, ¿qué vendría? Well, color. Sí. El color. Black. Black. Y por último, American. A ver, aquí. Primero, ¿qué iría? Eh, I, no. ¿Cuál? Expensive. Expensive, opinión, me parece excelente. Luego, el, 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 la forma, ok, la forma. Pero antes de la forma, ¿qué va? Mira, tenemos O, O, P, P, S, S, A, C. Acá en la A es de edad. ¿Tengo algo que sea edad? Antique. Antique. Ajá, antique. Ahora que de la A sigue una S. Esta S de arriba es de size, quiere decir que si la arriba es size, el de abajo es. Shape. Shape. ¿Qué vendría a ser entonces? Wear silver. ¿Mm? A ver aquí el cuchillo. Knife. Um, big. Big. Sharp. Sharp, el physical quality que te corta, está filudo. Una calidad física. Metal. Metal. Y el último. Tú tienes que aprenderte que el último P es, de, es el purpose, para qué sirve. Y el primer P es physical quality. ¿Ok? Otro más. A ver, British, smart, smart y strong. Smart. Opinión, opinión, después. Strong y British. Y por último. British. British. A ver, este de aquí, el del perrito. Cute. Little. Aquí, little. Smooth, es, es, smooth, uy, oh, qué suavecito, smooth. White, smooth. No, recuerda que smooth es la uh, physical quality, es la calidad física, por ejemplo, um, la sharp, que es punti, que filudo, este aquí es smooth. Y por último, el color. Que era material. No, smooth, no. 
¿Ok? ¿Se está entendiendo? Acuérdate. O, O, P, P, S, S, A, C, M. Así te acuerdas. Vamos a seguir practicando antes de continuar. Ahora, una cosa que la mayoría de estudiantes me pregunta es, Carlos, ¿qué pasa si existe en doble opinión? ¿O no? O sea, por ejemplo, digo, quiero decir beautiful y quiero decir expensive car. Un carro costoso y bonito. En este caso, cuando los adjetivos pertenezcan a la misma, al mismo grupo, opinión, tamaño, te da igual. Escoges así como a ti te guste. Yo quiero decir opinion beautiful, opinion, eh, perdón, este, beautiful, expensive, beautiful, expensive. Quiero decir expensive, beautiful, no pasa nada. ¿Por qué? Porque pertenecen a la misma categoría. They belong to the same category. ¿Ok? okay. Vamos a practicar con un ejercicio más. Let me share my screen. Y si digo mal, o sea, si no respeto el orden, ¿va a estar mal cuando hablo? Es que es, es imposible que te equivoques porque claro. tú nunca, recuerda, es imposible que te equivoques porque tú nunca vas a decir más de tres adjetivos. Es imposible. A lo mucho vas a usar dos. Nunca nadie te va a decir, yesterday I bought a beautiful, expensive, white, uh, American car. Nadie habla así, no existe persona en el mundo, nunca nadie, ni los poetas. Pero sí vas a encontrar, cuando encuentras descripciones, por ejemplo, cuando vas al restaurante, te dicen, fino, ahumado, eh, no sé, la comida la describen tanto que dicen, fino, ahumado, costoso, traído de España, beef. Allí vas a encontrar porque está escrito, y para que esté escrito te pones a pensar, origen, opinión, todo ese tipo de cosas porque vas a escribir, pero cuando hablas no te vas a, ay, ya voy a hablar contigo, primero voy a poner, no, no es que te vas a poner a pensar, cuando hables a lo mucho usarás dos, máximo, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque suena raro, pero cuando escribimos, sí, por ejemplo, ahorita en el caso de las grasas trans, de los trans fat, I, I was explaining using different words, of course, and that is a, that is a what? A big round yellow ball, ¿Qué iría primero? Um, big. Big, ok. Primero, fijas, la primera O, oh, ¿qué cosa es? Eh, opinión. Opinión. ¿Ah, ¿Tengo opinión? No. No. ¿La segunda qué es? Recuérdate. O, O, F, S. La primera S, ¿qué cosa es? Size. Shape or size. Muy bien, size. ¿Tengo tamaño? Big. Big, muy bien. Ok, luego de tener big, ¿ahora qué sigue? Sí, que... Physical quality. ¿Tengo algo que me diga physical quality? No. O, O, P, P, S, S, A. El luego sigue una A. ¿Tengo edad? No. No. O, O, P, P, S, S, A. La segunda S, ¿qué cosa es? ¿Es size o shape? Shape. Shape. ¿Cuál vendría Round. a ser? Round. Round. Luego de round, ¿qué sigue? O, O, P, P, S, S, A, C. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, el color. Ok. You got it? Yes. Ok, we're going to stop here. Excelente trabajo. A ver, uno más, uno más. A ver, este de aquí. Long, large, snake, green. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Um, large. 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 What else? Long. Long. Luego que seguía. And the snake. Yeah, okay. Now it's large, long, green, a snake. Se entendió, ¿cierto? So, Gabby, acuerdo. ¿Por qué dice el pulgar abajo? Ah, porque yo presioné, eh, yo presioné el mismo green varias veces para que no grite. El, uh, oh, okay. Y yo lo presioné y ya, se puso como mal. Pero la respuesta es large, long, green, snake. Yeah. A ver, otro, otro. Square watch, small, silver. 
small small um, square silver watch yeah that's great okay so any questions te voy a mandar a ver un task con este tema para ver si te acuerdas acuérdate o o p p s s a c m material okay Siempre lo vamos a encontrar cuando leemos. Es demasiado raro que utilices más de dos cuando hables. Okay, casi nunca nadie. Ok. Ok. A ver, order of adjective. Aquí hay uno. A ver, te lo voy a enviar de tarea. In your chat box, aquí en el chat, lo vas a poder encontrar. Le das clic y puedes compartir tu pantalla también. Ok, a ver, tratemos de ordenar. Um, it's a question. Vemos que it's a question. ¿Cómo empezaría la pregunta? ¿Todo esto? Yeah, todo eso es la pregunta. R. R. A ver, ponle R. Ya, yeah, ajá, muy bien. R. Si tiene el are, quiere decir que después, are you, muy bien, are you, are you sure, are you sure, that, uh -uh, are you sure that, are you sure, um, this, Are you sure? Um, Recuerda que es, ahí puedes seguir un dat, sí, pero el dat se puede omitir. Por ejemplo, tú puedes decir, I think that you are intelligent. Pero si no quiero decir el dat, digo, I think you are intelligent. Carlos, ok, lo omito, sí, no pasa nada. En este caso digo, are you sure that, o puedo decir, are you sure, y de frente a la oración. Imagínate que he puesto el dat, nada más. Recuerda que el dat se puede omitir, ¿vale? Okay, I'm not sure. I. Ajá, está seguro que yo, pero el dad lo omite. Are you sure I? I will. I will. I will find. Um... This and that. Are you sure I will find this? I will find. Um, y ahí tendría ya que poner. I wish I was on this.
Okay, are you sure I will find this? ¿Qué voy a encontrar? No voy a ninguno de todos, no, no sé. Ok, ¿crees que voy a encontrar este, ahora, este, este, este gorro? Pero, ¿qué adjetivos va a llevar ese gorro? Opinión. A ver, ¿cuál sería opinión? ¿Mm? You. Unique. unique. Of course, unique. This unique. Luego de opinión, ¿qué puede ir? ¿Puede ir black? Shape. Shape. Shape black, recuerda que shape y color, ya lo pusiste. Ajá, leather significa de cuero. Es el material. Leather, leather qué? Ahora el purpose. Pi, pirate. Pirate, ahora el sustantivo. ¿Cuál es el sustantivo? Hat in. In that shop. Ahí está. Are you sure I will find this unique triangular black leather pirate hat in the shop? Number two. A ver, inténtalo. Rubber, ¿qué era? Rubber de goma. Goma, el material goma. Put, okay. Put your. Dirty opinion. Green. Green color. Rain is lluvia, rubber is de goma. Rubber, rubber, rain goes. Rubber, rain, boots. Ajá. Out of the. Ya, yeah, dice, pon tus verdes de goma, sucias, botas de lluvia, fuera de la. Fuera de qué? Alfombra. Alfombra, pretty good. Silk viene a ser de seda. De seda. Es un material de seda. Y vivid. This vivid, 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 o sea, muy colorido, muy alegre, vivid, vivid, con mucha vida. Dancing, 
Blues es como, como suero y colgado. Material. Azure, it's a color. Or not. Azure. Yeah, it's a color. Yeah, but the sure is a color. What about luz? Y luz, ¿qué vendría a ser? Luz es que suelta. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ajá. Doesn't suit you. No te queda a ti. Yeah, the loose Azure silk dress doesn't suit you. Okay, how about this one? Imagine Yes. This new 
Ok, tenemos leather. Leather es cuero. Grayish es gris. ¿Cuál iría primero? Grayish es gris. Es como agrisado. Mm -hmm. Viene a ser color. Nice. Ok, we're going to stop there. Vamos a quedar allí. Tienes que acordarte, Gaby, o o p p s s a c m Siempre, ok. No es natural que utilices más de dos. A continuación, eh, vamos a empezar con Speaking Part. Okay. A ver, ¿qué tal nos va? Quiero que trates de aplicar gramática, aunque no la sepas, invéntalo. Sítete cómoda en decir tu respuesta. A ver. No, yes. Ok. Empezamos. Food and drinks you used to love and hate. You remember, Gabby, when you were a child, or maybe like 10 years ago or two years ago, Food and drink that you used to love and food and drink that you used to hate and why? Well, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I remember um, I, I used to hate you used uh, to soups. You used to hate soups. Why soups? Um, Um, my my grandmother always cooked uh, many soups uh, um, and I remember I I used to hate because okay you used to hate it because you find it um, maybe you find it disgusting you don't like it Uh -huh. La encontrabas desagradable. Uh -huh. Okay. And something that you used to love? Food and drink? Um, I used to love um, ice cream. It means that now you don't love ice cream. Uh -huh. um, you say, I used to love ice cream. When you say, I used to love ice cream, means that nowadays you don't like eating ice cream because you used to. Um, no, um, nowadays I, I love ice cream. Too. Too. Okay, for example, you can say, well, when I was a child, I used to love cookies. But nowadays, you know, I can eat cookies because I need to cut back on calories. Cut back on. What is cut back on? Re Reduce calories. Remember that cookies, candies are high calorie food. You see, high calorie food. Next, nightmares you used to have. Do you remember one nightmare? Nightmare is like a, a bad dream, you know? With zombies, with, with killers, with Chucky maybe, nightmares. You used to have nightmares when you were a child maybe? Yes, I, I used to have nightmares, nightmares with um, ma muggers, yeah? Muggers? Okay, muggers. Wow. Okay, with muggers. Did someone steal something from you in the past, uh, maybe? Yes. Uh, maybe this is the reason of your nightmares. Toys and games. Do you used to play a lot of games when you were a child or with your toys? Um, yes, I used to love uh, play with dolls. You used to love playing. You used to love playing with dolls. Mm -hmm. uh, playing with dolls, of course. Mm -hmm. 
And birthday parties, do you remember a birthday that you went when you were a child, maybe? Um, yes, I remember. I used to go, I used to go my friends' parties. And, of course, my birthday. You you threw a party for when you turned how, how old? For example, I threw... I threw a party when I turned 18 years old. ¿Cómo sería throw a party? party? To have a party. It's another way. It's another way. In American English, people say, well, I don't want to throw a party. I don't have enough money. But, you know, throw a party, have a party. Oh, another way, through a party. Okay. Yeah. Things I used to be afraid of. For example, I used to be afraid of um, people at night because one day someone killed one of my relatives. So I used to be afraid of people at night. What about you? Um... I used to be afraid of um, crown. Era como era crown. I used to be afraid of payasos. Como era clown. Clown. Of course, like clowns. You used to, why? Oh, maybe because you were a child, of course. And places we used to go for family holidays. Where did you used to go when with your family a few years ago? Um, when I was a child, I used to go uh, to Brazil with my family. Oh, go to Brazil with your family. For example, is tourism important in your country? In what way? Uh, yes, I think that tourism is uh, really important. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. When you, I realize that when I ask a question like, is tourism important in your country? You say, yes, I think tourism is important in my country. If you don't want to repeat the whole sentence, you can say, mm, I think so. You see? And then you think you'd answer, I think so. I and then you change, okay? Again, no, no, no. Okay, Gabby, is the reason important in your country? Yes, I think I think so. Uh huh. And why? Um, as, como como era en vez de decir I because as as long as Ya que, ya que seems, ya que, puede ser cualquiera. Puedes decir, sí. since my country, since my country is very popular, ya que mi país es muy, es, as my country is, puede ser cualquiera. Sí. Recuerda que el as mayormente lo iniciamos al inicio, el seems no, puede ir en cualquier lugar. Yeah. Okay, since uh, my country is, it has a lot of uh, touristic places. Mm -hmm. Touristic places. Yeah. Okay, in what way? In what way tourism is important? I mean, uh, tourist, tourists mm -hmm. can buy products and this help the economy to the country. What else? Uh -huh. uh, for the economy of my country. For the economy. Ahora, ahora quiero que digas lo que me has dicho. De nuevo, pero ordenado. Like, um, I think so. Tourism is important because... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, another question. Okay. Would you like to have chaik? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Imagine, imagine that you that you travel to a different place and you lose your wallet. You don't have money. You don't have money. This is the highway, and you do this. Uh, please, can you 
Give me a ride. Puedo hacer una jalada. Give me a ride. Y te lleva gratis. Ok. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, seems nowadays is very danger, dangerous. Ajá, uh -huh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ok, that's amazing. Esta respuesta sí, 10 de 10. Suficiente, I think this is dangerous. Good. What souvenirs do you usually buy when you travel or when you visit a different place? Um, it depends. Uh, the place that, no, the place where I visit. Ok. For instance, I like to buy uh, bags or Iman, ¿cómo se decía? Heman is the same. Maybe you say tot mm -hmm. bags. Maybe okay. this one. Heman with the name of the city. Okay. This one, tote bags? Uh-huh, yes. This one, like eco-friendly, tote bag. Okay. Emma from the country. What do you mean? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. And, well, let me tell you, you need to say, it depends on where we go. It depends on. We never say it depends and then something. No, it depends on you. It depends on the place we go. It depends on the country we visit. It depends whatever. Okay? It okay. depends on. And how do you kill the time in road? I told you yesterday. Kill time. Spend time. You remember? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How do you kill time in route? When you are, for example, in the car waiting or in the bus you're waiting because um okay i um i enjoy is looking the um, the windows looking at the windows looking at the windows ah, uh -huh. okay. and since i like to see the nature Oh, uh -huh. the nature. Landscape. Landscape. Yeah, landscape. Okay. Let me write it. Landscape. 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 Uh -huh. And yeah, that's so cool. And maybe, for example, when you are at the airport and your flight is delayed, maybe how do you kill your time there? I mean, you have to wait for one day, maybe. When your flight is delayed. Um, I enjoy um, staying at the airport uh, since I I love the airport. Uh -huh. I like to um, look the the different stores that are there. There are there. K I I G. Oh, of course. Oh, great. That's so cool. Do you prefer active or relaxing holidays? For example, when I travel to a different country, I prefer active uh, activities, okay? Uh, because I can spend time with my family and at night because, uh, because of our, um, I don't know, like tiring day, because of our tiring day, we uh, sleep a lot. What about you? Um, I prefer relaxing holiday. What? Uh, like a um, like, um, beach destination. Uh, like a beach destination. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I love um, the sea. You love to see. I, I love swimming. Swimming. Uh -huh, I love swimming. You can use okay. emphasis, for example, what I absolutely love to do is. 
Lo que absolutamente me encanta hacer es, for example, when I travel to a different country, what I absolutely love to do is um, sizing, is go sizing. Is going sizing. Is, is goes to go sizing. El verbo es go sizing nada más. Um, también puedes poner to go. To go sizing es hacer turismo, es decir, ir a visitar lugares, ir a los museos, ir al main square. This is go sizing. So what I absolutely love to do when I travel to a different country is go in sizing. And this is a relaxing holiday, right? What about you, Gabby? Um... What I absolutely love to do is going to the beach. Going okay, to the beach. To yeah. the beach. Uh -huh. Um. Since I love the sea, and I um absolutely love uh, swimming. Uh huh. Where do you prefer spending your holiday? In Poland or abroad? It could be a different country. Polonia, it could be a different country, it could be the okay. UK, it could be, yeah, or yeah. abroad. Um, I prefer um, abroad. Uh, you prefer to go? Yeah. To go abroad, is it? Yes, to go abroad, irse al extranjero. To go abroad. And why do you prefer to go abroad? Um, oh, I um, I love um, to, to travel a lot. Um, since I, um, I enjoy um, vis visiting. I enjoy other visiting culture. other other cultures okay Answer. that's so cool what is the most beautiful place you have ever visited um i have um, um maybe um Will be um, an amazing island of Mexico. I have uh, visited visited um, with my family. Okay, you can say for. Can you hear me? Um, yes, our. Uh, Okay, you can say, for example, I have no hesitation in saying that the most beautiful place I've ever visited is Mexico because, and you can explain the reason why. Okay. Yeah, um, it has uh, the, the best water. I ever see, so, so. okay, uh -oh. I have a problem with my computer, I think, uh -huh. because I cannot see you. Now, can you hear me? I can't listen to you. Now, can you hear me, I think? Yeah. I can't listen to you. Have you ever count? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. And yes, I, I have count. I I can I have come. 
But when you remember, I remember I, the first time that I went camping was when I was seven years old. It was far from my house. It takes like five hours to get there. It was like boring because we had not internet connection. What about how was your experience camping? Um, I I enjoyed enjoyed a lot uh, when I ha when I have come. Um, since I love the nature, and um, my first experience was uh, fun. Ok, your first experience was divertida. Ahora vamos a hacer algo distinto. Vas a traducir de español a inglés lo más rápido que puedas. Por ejemplo, okay. te digo, no quiero ir. ¿Cómo digo no quiero ir? I can go. No. Ajá, no quiero ir. Ah, I, I, don't, I don't want to go. Ya, yeah, pero tienes que decirlo. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Más rápido. Mm -hmm. Okay. One second. Yes. In Spanish races. Y tú vas a tratar de decirlas en, en inglés. ¿Vale? Ok. Dame un segundito que aquí las puse. Eh, 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 eh. Aquí está con vamos a hacer esa actividad. Okay. Empezamos. Trata de decirlo como te salga, pero lo más rápido que puedas. ¿Ok? Lo, con lo, no sé si lo dije bien. Tú dilo nada más. Lo que te salga. ¿Ok? Ok. Sí. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿A dónde fuiste la última vez de vacaciones? Um, where did you go the last time on holidays? Oh, go on? On holidays. On holidays. Uf, perfecto. ¿Qué país te gustaría visitar? What country do you like to visit? Okay, in this case, you say, which country would you like to visit? Would you like to visit? Okay, next. ¿A qué países has viajado? Which countries did you travel? Okay, vamos a aclarar aquí. Usamos el which cuando le damos posibilidades y usamos el what cuando no. Entonces, si tú no me das posibilidades, me dices what y si no, which, para no estar explicando contexto. Entonces, en este caso, todos me vas a decir con what a partir de ahora. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, cuando yo voy a una fiesta y conozco a alguien, yo le digo, ¿cómo te llamas? ¿María, Ana o Lucía? O yo no le doy opciones. Tú no das opciones porque es la primera vez que lo ves, ¿sí o no? En este caso, como digo, what is your name or which is your name? What. What. Y si le digo, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Gabriela, Lucía o Ana. Ah, porque yo recuerdo haberte visto antes. Ah, ¿qué le digo? Which is your, which is your name. A partir de ahora, si te doy opciones, utilizarás which y si no, utilizarás what. ¿Ok? Pero, ¿cómo sería en el caso que me dijiste? ¿Sería la, por ejemplo, la primera, la primera, depende del contexto, ¿no? Si estoy hablando de países, te digo, hey, which country would you like to visit? ¿Ok? Y ahora te voy a decir una pregunta. Which... Porque yo se supone que por contexto te estuve dando países, ¿no? Pero si no, te digo, what countries? ¿Ok? okay. Por eso lo dije aclarar ahorita para que no te quede dudas. Siguiente pregunta. ¿A qué te dedicas? What do you do? 
what do you do es que haces, me parece excelente, pero la expresión natural sería, what do you do for a living? For. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Como qué haces para vivir, ¿no? Pero es qué haces en tu día a día. Si te, alguien te pregunta, hey, what do you do for a living? Well, I work as a babysitter. I work as a teacher. I work as a doctor. What do you do for a living? Okay, right? Okay? okay. Next. ¿A quién admiras? Who do you admire? Who do you admire? Un nativo en lugar de decir admire usará la expresión también. Look up to. ¿Te acuerdas? Look up. Look up y to. Look de mirar. Up de arriba. Y to de listen to. Look up to. Eh, lo voy a escribir. Admirar. Sí. Ah, pero existe admire, ¿no? Sí, admire existe. Sino que es muy serio. Cuando tú dices admire, pienso que look up to somebody y menospreciar a alguien, look down on somebody. ¿Ok? Look down es lo opuesto, look up to, menospreciar. Siguiente pregunta. Entonces, en lugar de decir who do you admire, también podrías decir... Who do you look up to? Who do you look up to? Y lo traduces hacia atrás, hacia adelante. No es que tú dirías, to who do you look up? Ah, ya, yeah, pero este to who no existe. El tú lo paso al final. Who do you look up to? ¿Quedó claro? Ya, yeah, sí. Eso como que me cuesta todavía llevar el to up. Al final. A ver. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo. Cuando es rápido, ¿no? Por ejemplo. O sea, sí le entiendo, pero como cuando tengo que decir, ahí sí me olvido. Ah, ya. Tienes que acordarte que nunca va a existir una preposición con un double question. Cada vez que tengas una preposición con un double question, la preposición siempre la pones al final. No la dudes. Tú ponlo al final nada más. Porque no existe la preposición con double question. Nunca vas a encontrar, por ejemplo, in what level are you? Si alguien te pregunta, in what level are you? No es... What level are you in? No existe, lo tienes que poner al final y para traducir de atrás hacia adelante. ¿Ok? Siguiente pregunta. Next question. Eh, nos quedamos en la número 10. Yes. ¿Alguna vez has estado enamorado? Did you ever. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Did you ever. Mm. Fall in love? Have you ever been in love? ¿Alguna vez has? Have you ever been in love? Siguiente. ¿Alguna vez has llorado de felicidad? De felicidad? Have, you, have you ever? Eh... Pero escucha, mira, no es had. Had es había. El otro es have. Have. Have, have, you, ever, uh -huh. have you ever crying? Cried, en pasado, cried. From, cried from. Happiness. From happiness, acuérdate. Have you ever cried from happiness? ¿Alguna vez has tomado drogas? Have you ever uh, take? Use, drugs? las drogas se usan. Uh, yes. Use, use drugs. Yes. Use drugs. Ok, yeah, muy bien. ¿Alguna vez te han multado por exceso de velocidad? Have you ever... No sé. Gotten. Gotten. The get. Have you ever get got gotten? Have you ever gotten a speed? Speed con ING. Speeding. Speeding ticket. El speeding ticket es tu multa de velocidad. Have you ever gotten, gotten a speeding ticket? ¿Bebes café o té? Uh, do you drink... Uh, do you drink... Coffee or tea? Amazing. ¿Cantas en la ducha? Do you sing on the... In shower? the shower. In the shower. The shower. ¿Cómo fue el peor empleo que has tenido? How was the worst, um, the worst job? job? Muy bien. 
pero que has tenido en lo eh, que yo preguntaría sería what was your least favorite job like or ¿Cómo, cómo? okay what was no exactamente dice what was you say what was what was the worst job you have ever had cuál fue el peor empleo que alguna vez has tenido es lo mismo que decir what was the least favorite job el menos favorito es el peor sí o no ¿Quedó claro? Least favorite, el menos favorito. Genial. Next. ¿Crees en el amor a primera vista? Do you believe in the first of In love, recuerda. Do you believe in love? Y a primera vista es at first sight. At first sight. Déjame escribirlo. Sí. At first sight. At first sight. A o sea, primera sería, do, you, do you believe on in, in uh, love? In, do you believe in love no. at first sight? Yes. A veces usamos esta, esta expresión para exagerar, ¿no? Le digo, I've, and, no, envío una ropa que me gustó mucho y digo, hey, Do you believe in love at first sight? I want to buy this product. It's another expression. Okay? okay. ¿Crees en la suerte? Uh, do you believe in... Do you believe no. in luck? In luck. Luck no. is in good suerte. In good luck is in buena suerte. Uh -huh. ¿Crees en las almas gemelas? Do you believe in... Soul mates. Soul, soul viene de alma y mates de compañero. Soul mates. You get it? Do you be in self mate? Como amigo. Sí. Do you believe in soul mates? Soulmates. Recuerda que la palabra mate significa amigo. Eh, hey, mate. Es como decir bro, pero lo usan más los británicos. Yeah. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Ok, let's continue. Siguiente pregunta. ¿Cuál es tu asignatura favorita? What is your favorite... Mm -hmm. No me acuerdo. Sí, asignatura. No. Asignatura o curso es subject, así como sujeto. No, sí, sí. Ok. Siguiente, ¿cuál es el mejor consejo que te han dado? Uh, what, um, what is the best? Uh, con... What is the best? What is the best? Uh... Consejo, pero uno nada no más. What is the best? Consejo como bueno. At. Ad, advice. ¿Qué palabrita va al costado de advice? Para que sea uno. Recuerda que advice es incontable. Pero cuando quiero decir uno. Any. No. Piece. Piece of advice. ¿Te acuerdas? Piece, piece? of advice. Piece of advice. Pieza? Exacto, porque los consejos no se cuentan, en español sí se cuentan, pero en inglés no. Por ejemplo, advice es incontable. A ver, vamos a escribir aquí. Recuerda que advice, advice de consejo sustantivo. Advice con C significa consejo. Los consejos son incontables. Por ejemplo, digo, that's... That's good advice. Eso es buen consejo. 
pero si quieres decir eso es un buen consejo para poder cuantificar, digo, that is a, a, a good piece of, that is a good piece of advice. Los consejos se cuantifican con piece. Si quiero decir dos consejos, borro el I, pongo good pieces of advice, two pieces of advice, three pieces of advice. Me dio tres consejos, three pieces of advice. ¿Ok? Um, no entendí la diferencia del that's good advice y el otro por qué lleva el piece. Ah, es que Arriba el advice, la palabra advice es incontable. Consejo en inglés sí. no se puede contar. No se puede. Por eso que tú dices, that's good advice. Es buen consejo. Tú no puedes decir, eso es un buen consejo. Es como decir agua. La palabra agua, water, es incontable. Tú no puedes decir, esa es buen, eso es un buen agua. No se puede. Tú dices, that's, that's good water. Esa es agua buena o buena agua. Pero si quieres decir, esa es una botella de agua buena, digo, that is a bottle of water. El agua se cuantifica en botellas, en bolsas, en lo que sea. Los consejos se cuantifican con pieces of. ¿Quedó claro? Ya. Yeah. Piece of. Piece of. Vamos yeah. a hacer en la siguiente lección un repaso de lo que son todos los contables con ejemplitos. Pero acuérdate que el consejo con C se escribe con C. Es incontable. Y cuando quiero decir un consejo, tengo que decir piece of advice. Carlos, ¿por qué no puedo decir así nada más? Eh, that is a good advice. No se puede. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra advice es incontable. Y los incontables no pueden ir uno, ni dos, ni tres. Para que los cuentes, tienes que poner a piece. Si quiero decir dos, borro el A y pongo two pieces. Le agrego la S. Pieces, three pieces, four pieces. ¿Ok? Okay. Got it? Okay, good job. Yes. Bien, pregunta. ¿Cuál es el plato que mejor cocinas? Um, what, is, what is the best dish that you cook? What is the best dish that you cook? Mm -mm. What is the signature dish that you cook? Let me write it. What is the signature dish that you cook? Un signature dish? El signature dish es como el plato que te identifica. Por ejemplo, si yo me voy a... Uh, digo, a ver, pensamos en cierta comida, se te viene un, un chef a la mente. Porque ese es el plato que lo hace, el mejor plato que él hace. Es como cuando tú dices, vamos a comer este restaurante porque allí venden el mejor, eh, las mejores parrillas. Ese es su signature dish. ¿Y cómo se traduce a eso, esa, esa oración? ¿Qué Esta oración se traduce, ¿cuál es el plato que mejor cocinas? Ya, yeah. y si digo lo del restaurante que dijiste, este es el restaurante que no sé qué okay, tiene. Digo, Uh, ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿Ese es el restaurante que cocina mejor? Eh, no, o sea, para, se usa signature en el caso sí. del restaurante que cocina el mejor ceviche, por ejemplo. O, oh, ok, this is the signature dish of this rest restaurant. Puedo decir, ceviche is the signature dish of this mm -hmm. restaurant. Oh, yeah. okay. Como plato bandera, the signature dish. Es el, la receta, pero propia. Ok. Siguiente. ¿Cuál es el último libro que has leído? ¿O que leíste? What is, what is the last book did you read? Can you repeat? What is the last book? <laughs> did you read? Uh -uh. What is the last book? La pregunta ya está al inicio, mira. Ahí es. ¿Cuál es el último libro, sí o no? Ya no tienes por qué poner Did you read? Tiene que ser de frente. You, you read. 
Acá, that you read, que tú leíste. Ajá, siguiente pregunta. ¿Cuál es la cosa más extraña que has visto en tu vida? Eh, what is the... La cosa más extraña que has visto en tu vida. What is the stranger things that mm -hmm. you saw in your life? That you saw, que viste o que tú has visto. ¿Cómo dirías que tú has visto? Um, have you... Uh, no, that you have, that you have, that you have seen, seen in your life. In your life. Estuvo muy bien, estuvo muy bien. Recuerda también que en lugar de este strange, puedes usar la palabra weird. Weird. Mm -hmm. right, that's so weird. Es una palabra que usamos en inglés. That's so, and that's so weird. Por ejemplo, vamos a comprar la tienda y... Esta persona que me atendió me miraba medio raro, medio, medio extraño, medio, medio tétrico. So that's so weird. That's so weird. Medio raro. ¿Ok? Es más común el weird. Y strange, strange es como... Nadie usa strange. Strange es como extraño. Extraño, pero más de, de miedo, de terror. Este es extraño de todo lo extraño. Okay. Extraño de raro y extraño de más tenebroso. Okay. Pero ambos son sinónimos. Puedes usar cualquiera, pero yo prefiero usar weird. Yeah, weird. So weird. Uh, ok, next expression. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Tocas algún instrumento? Uh, do you play... Uh... I... Some instrument, Sam, musical. Some instrument. El Sam se usaba para preguntas. Any, any, any. Any instrument. Any musical instrument or was any instruments? Nada más. ¿Tienes hermanos? Um, do you have any brother? No. Any brother or any brothers en plural. Brothers. Recuerda que después del any siempre vas a poner en plural todos los sustantivos contables. Por otra parte, si yo te digo, do you have any brothers? Lo que te estoy preguntando, ¿tienes hermanos, específicamente varones? Do you ah. have any siblings? Siblings. 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 Sí, yeah, siblings. Siguiente pregunta. ¿Alguna vez te has emborrachado? Have you ever... Have you ever... Estado, estado. Have you ever? Um, have you ever? Um, es que no sé cómo se dice. ¿Alguna vez has estado emborrachado? Have you ever been? Drunk, drunk. Drink, drunk, drunk. Have you ever been drunk? Ahora sí. Look at this. Estoy borracho, es... Have you ever been? I am, I am drunk significa que estoy ebrio. I am drunk. El otro es, have you, have you ever been drunk? ¿Alguna vez has estado borracho ebrio? Ok. Hey. Next question. ¿Te gusta el lugar donde vives? Do you like where you live? Do you like the place where you live? ¿Te gusta okay. donde? Yeah, but it's okay. Do you like the place where you live? Muy bien. ¿Sabes conducir? Do you know driving? Incorrecto. Cuando quieres preguntar si sabes conducir a alguien, le preguntas, Can you drive? Puedes manejar. Can you drive? O si quieres, literalmente le dices, do you know how to drive? <coughs> ok. Yeah. ¿Sabes cocinar? How do you say, ¿sabes cocinar? Uh, can you cook? Or do you know how to cook? Amazing. Next, nos falta poco. 
¿Quién es tu actor favorito? Who is your favorite actress? Ok. Actor. <coughs> actress or actor, it's ok. Actress, actriz, actor, actor. Eh, ok. ¿Qué harías si te quedan 24 horas de vida? Ah, uh, sí, ya tengo uh -huh. um, What do you do? Incorrect. Yeah. ¿Qué harías? Um, what do you no, do? No, what do you, what do you es que haces? What will, what will do you do? What will, what will do es que yeah. harás? ¿Qué harás? What? What? What would, what would you? What would you, you do? ¿Qué harías? Yeah. What would you do? If you, ¿cómo era? Si, si te quedan, si te quedaran 24 horas de vida. If you had. If you had, muy bien. If you had. 24 hours. Hours to live. Left, left, left. What would you do if you had 24 hours left? Ah, directo. 24 hours left. Left, left. A ver, dos preguntas más. ¿Prefieres el pelo corto o largo? Uh, do you prefer short or long hair? Amazing. And, okay. ¿Preferirías ser rico y nunca encontrar el amor verdadero o ser pobre pero encontrar el amor verdadero? Yeah. Would, um, would you? Ya quiero que sea el would you. Would you no, prefer? No, would you? Ya no es el would you prefer. Es el would you rather? Would you rather would ser you rico? Rather, ¿Cómo ser rico? Would you rather, rather to be rich? Incorrect. Recuerda que después del rather. I no. El rather va de frente. ¿Te acuerdas que vimos el I'd rather not to talk? I'd rather not talk. Aquí sería I'd. I, I'd rather be rich. Ok. Pues aquí es el verbo base. Exacto. Verbo en su forma bear. Se llama en su forma bear. Bear in very infinitive. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo en su forma base vendría a ser... Ese es otro nombre, ¿no? Por ejemplo, I'd... I prefer... I prefer to be rich. Este viene a ser el verbo en forma infinitiva. El be rich. Infinitive verb. Cuando va con el tú y cuando va solito se llama bear. I prefer. En la de aquí dices yo prefiero, pero acá dices preferiría. Otra forma de decir preferiría también sería I'd prefer to y el verbo I prefer to be rich. También en inglés una forma más avanzada es I'd sooner y el I'd sooner se comporta como el rather. El sooner se comporta como el rather. Es otra forma pero un poco más culta. Okay. You get it? Yes. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Nos vamos a quedar aquí. El día de mañana vamos a hacer todo lo que es adjetivos. Um, y espérate, déjame revisar el tema que anoté aquí. Sustantivos contables e incontables. Y mañana vamos a hablar más que todo, así como la clase anterior. Speaking, speaking. Uh, so that would be all. Ahora te envío tu lección para que puedas repasar.